So yeah, my nan wants to pay someone £50 to take me out. Okay, I just filmed absolutely nothing for two minutes. Great. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be. Bonjour. Hello, it's me again. Uh, this video is going to be all about what's going on in the world of me right now. Barcelona with the girls is next week. I've been trying to lose weight like you wouldn't believe. Recently I've turned 25. I celebrated it by going for sushi on my own and then I continued the night by getting drunk. <laughs> It was a very chilled, lonely birthday, but it's just exactly what I wanted. And then I went out with the girls on my birthday. I dressed as straight as I could. My boobs are out in full force. For those of you that think, put them away. No, because I never get them out. Shake what your surgeon gave you. All of my friends are doing so well in their lives right now. All, look, I'm not joking. A lot of the girls have been promoted. Everyone's got into a relationship. I am the only one that has got nothing to actually say positively that is going on in my life right now, apart from the fact that my car passed its MOT and I thought it was going to fail. And I've always been a latecomer in life. I started my period when I was 16. I'm hoping that all the good things are going to come as I get older. Some feedback I got about my last video was now, I'm aware I have a bit of a speech impediment. I'm aware of it. It's become very apparent from my last video, or just recently, that I have a really bad lisp. I thought I couldn't pronounce my R's properly. They come out as W's, so when I say horrible, it comes out horrible sometimes, but that's fine. I'm, I'm coming to terms with how I speak and how I look gradually as I get older. These are some of the comments I was getting about my last video. Now, this wasn't a conversation between me and someone. It was between someone else. she a boxer? <laughs> a fucking boxer. <laughs> you know what, it's fine. I, I actually don't mind having a bit of a lisp, but someone could have told me, like someone could have pre-warned me that I had it before I started YouTubing. I want to make my family proud. When my mum told my nan that I was gay, my nan took it very, very badly and she thought it was something to do with the media and the fact that there was a lesbian storyline on Coronation Street. She thought I was being swayed by everything around me. My nan wants to pay someone £50 to take me out. She was going to pay an Aldi worker £50 to take me out. I understand my nan doesn't want me to be gay, that's fine, I respect it, but she thinks I'm worth 50 quid. 50 quid wouldn't even cover three rounds of drinks for me, because I drink a lot. One of my other videos, I, th I said that I don't use Tinder, but last week I decided to get Tinder. I think I lasted on it for like five days. You can match with a hundred people but it doesn't mean that anyone's actually gonna speak. It's just not me to make the first move in any situation. I found it really bizarre that the girls were asking me how tall I was, so I'd put five six because I thought that's what I was. And I was like, is this what girls do to guys about their height? But anyway, I got the tape measure out and I got my mum to measure me and I am actually five foot six. So I was not lying when I did that. Uh, this one girl did speak to me and she was like, oh, hello, and I was like, hiya. And then she put, hi sexy. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanna hear. I was like, right, I'm deleting Tinder. There's one thing in this world that I am not, and that is sexy. I find, I can't even say the word because I, it just doesn't suit coming out of my mouth. Plus, you put your settings to just girls. These men just keep cropping up and sometimes I accidentally match with them. Accidentally. When I am speaking to someone on Tinder, I'm like, look, this is literally just being screenshotted right now and being sent into a group chat. Like, I feel like I can't be myself, which is just why I hate it. Fucking Tinder. There's always that one person on Tinder as well that you think, oh shit, they've just seen me on Tinder because I've just seen them. Great. 
I am meant to be moving out in about a month or two and then I'll have a room that's bigger than this one. Just thank you for watching. If you like it, share it, like it, comment, do whatever. Thanks again to everyone, like especially my pals who watch the videos and support me. So, okay, bye.